Hello there, Pisces. Welcome. Okay, this is your love reading for January 2023. Let's see what's going on for you guys. What is happening for Pisces? Okay, what's the scoop here? We have the Page of Swords. Okay, the Page of Swords looks vulnerable here. This page. Yeah, it looks like, what's going on here? Exposed to something? Okay, let's see. We have here... The dragon, protection, wisdom. Let's see what's going on with this page of swords. Okay. Page of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is also the spy guy, spy girl. Some could be watching. Now, this could be someone in love. This could be someone in business. I know we're doing love reading, but sometimes other stuff comes in. I request it. Doesn't mean it's <laughs> always going to get what I request. Whatever the guys want to tell you, what's important to whoever it's important to. Okay, we'll see what else we have here to get more on this, but... Um, we have here the Six of Cups. Okay, a, a family gathering, getting together. This is what this looks like. You're getting together. Of course, I mean, right now when you're probably watching this, it's holiday season. But, um, yeah, it looks like this, this person's the center of all attention. Um, she also looks like she's waiting for someone here. Maybe she's alone at the table right now, but she's waiting for people to come in. Because you can't really see people, but you see the settings. Okay. Let's see what else we have. The Nine of Cups. Okay, there's going to be a celebration. Once everybody gathers together, this is going to be a celebration. And then we have here the Five of Pentacles. This person's getting robbed. Ha. Alrighty, let's see what we have going on here. We have the world. Okay, so here you are traveling the world, seeing the world, doing new things. Some. Okay, so for this page of swords, okay, so this person also feels like they almost feels like you're in a place that you didn't expect to be in. It's like all of a sudden something happened and you're, you, I don't know why, I, f I feel like you're exposed here. And there's going to be a gathering. Maybe someone's exposing someone at a gathering. Let's see. Ooh, someone's cutting someone out. Okay. You might be removing a uh, air sign from your life or you're removing someone that is just um I don't know, something's not jiving here. Okay, let's see. What about the 6 of cups? Let's see that cuz this person's been a heavy burden. It almost feels like okay, if this makes sense to you guys. This person is more like looking for for um information so they can start trouble they're they've been a burden so you're cutting them out you just i'm feeling here now this may or not okay i gotta sneeze <laughs> this may or may not relate to you at, you know this part of this reading but this is this person's been a burden you're cutting them out because they're just a troublemaker and it's like you're removing them from the rest that makes sense okay now what and then you're celebrating here at the nine of cups this is your wishes your hopes your dreams come true a star, yes. You know, it almost feels like this person has been bothersome. So you had to remove them, and by removing them, you're lighter, you're you're brighter. Things are going more in your way. You're not having this person sabotaging. I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I feel like this person has been a total thorn in your side. And you've finally you've been putting up with because maybe they're a relative, they're you know, the family member or a close friend, and you're like, why? And now we have someone getting robbed here with this Five of Pentacles. What are you getting robbed of? Hmm. Wow. I don't know if this can make sense for you or not, but I feel like you were getting robbed of your health. The stork is good, good news. So this is like a birth. This is a new home or something here. But I felt like this person, now you feel happier because you're no longer getting robbed here. This is new love. Starting again. Building a home here. Building a nest. Um, this all, of course, storks could be a birth. Now, it could be a birth of a child. It could be a birth of something new. I still feel like this is sort of associated with that there. Someone, you le left someone behind because they were just robbing you, robbing you of your energy, robbing you of whatever they could rob you of. It's like, I felt like a, 
Okay, I feel like there's a jealousy here. And so you're moving on from that. Now we have, and now you're going to, there might be a new love that's coming in now because of this. So this could all have been a, a past love or a person that you were committed to. It could have been a marriage. And you're like, I'm done. And now something new is brought in and it's, it's more stable, it's more reliable, it's something you can depend on. And now you might be traveling the world. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I know it's not going to be for everyone, but that's the energy I'm getting. Uh, so I have to tell you what I feel here. Okay, now, we have here the devil. Okay, Capricorn energy could be dealing with a Capricorn. And at Eight of Cups, this cup has been coming up a lot. Um, the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands. But we have the Ten of Pentacles. I like this. Okay, so, this person, again, I'm feeling like this energy is still here. Um, was trying to manipulate you, trying to be like, act like you're a puppet for them to manipulate. Maybe you with other people, saying lies, starting trouble, um, just to see you dance or squirm or whatever. Now, in the meantime, this new connection that came in, you might be talking to this person all the time. Um, you guys, if you're at a party or if you meet at a party or wherever you meet, it's like, it's going to be like you're the last to leave or you go in another room so you can have a private conversation because you just find each other so intriguing, so exciting. Now, here we have the three of wands. Someone's waiting for something. Um, they're not, and I feel like this person's waiting to hear something. And they're not sure what they're actually waiting for, but they know they have to wait. And then there comes a, something comes in here and they have to decide. There's two different plants this this clown is holding. Which one do they want? Which one is the better one? Which one is going to grow? Okay, but there is money coming in for you. The Ten of Pentacles, that is a long-term commitment. And also, you might be getting a lot of gifts, a lot of opportunities, and money coming in. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have the devil here? Why is the devil here? We have here, oh, the magnifying glass. See, because you you started looking at things a little closer. You started seeing things that you're like, you're passing them off like, ah, th that, they're not doing that. No, they can't be doing that, right? No, but you started looking at things. You started seeing what this person was doing, how this person was manipulating people, how this person was um, changing things or doing something different. And here we have 44, a master number. You got this person's number because you really started digging and really started looking. Now, what about this Eight of Cups? Okay, we have the lilies. Okay, this this connection might get physical quickly. There's a lot of attraction here. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. A very strong um, attraction here. That you guys, neither one you can deny. And it almost feels like from the minute that you meet, this new love that comes in is going to be a very strong attraction. Okay, let's see. What about this Three of Wands? Oh, so there's a loyalty coming in here. There's, um, the dog is companionship, this loyalty, this, um, un um unconditional love. Also, someone's coming in to help you with something. It might be this person here too or if it's next to this here anyway so this person you can definitely depend upon this person you're getting you're really happy ever since you cut out this person i don't care if it was a family member a friend a co-worker this person was trouble a burden okay now what about this two of wands Ooh, we got the anchor came up again now it's on the table so now yeah this there's you're going to have find the path that is going to make you feel secure make you feel um like setting up roots here it feels very good and we have here there's storm there's clouds there's something that you may be not seeing with the clouds here something is confused something is hidden but let's see what else we have what else do we have here for pisces what else okay we have the hermit hermit likes to come up too you might be going deep with then trying to you can't concentrate though you're trying to figure out something, trying to study something. Look at this guy. There's two lovebirds in the background there. 
can't focus on his reading, on his studies or whatever he's doing. It looks like he might be a professor. Professor, um, cause It looks like it might be a school campus or something. He's outside. Got all these books he wants to read. Um, all this that he's trying to focus in on. But instead, he's, his attention is taken elsewhere. So you might be trying to focus on something, but something's pulling your attention someplace else. Virgo energy. And we have here the Knight of Wands. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in here. And we have a butterfly. A new transition. A new a new way of being. A, a, something new here. I get the Knight of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Now it almost feels like this guy's looking over at this one here too. Because actually he can't really be looking over there. He's actually looking over here. So now, looking over this new person coming towards you. Let me see what else I have here. Knight of Wands, Passion, Desire. Ooh, with the Page of Wands. This one looks bored, though. There's communication coming in, though, for you guys. Let me get a charm here. Oh, about love. A Knight of Wands might be sending you some kind of communication, whether it's a letter, an email, a phone call. So let's see, Page of Wands. And we have the Queen of Swords, and it's going to totally take you by surprise. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords, if you see this Queen of Swords, this person surprises this Queen. She shows up, and she's in the middle of getting ready to go out or something. She's brushing her teeth. She's got the toothpaste, toothpaste out, hanging out of her mouth with the toothbrush. So she's caught off guard. So someone might be surprising you. She have her hand. She has a shovel. Hmm. Okay, let me do the charms on the Queen of Swords. Okay, so Queen of Swords, we have a crab. So I'm feeling the Queen of Swords here. It might be this is your energy. It might be seeming a little tough on the outside, but um, really soft and gooey inside. And also with the, the crab, I always see the crab as walking sideways. So doing something like on the side. Maybe it could be also um, doing some kind of business on the side. Okay, let me see. Why do we have the hermit here for you? Why is the hermit here? Okay, we have the bear. The bear is protection. So you could also be at this point withdrawing, going, uh, trying to learn something, and trying to protect yourself somehow. With the bear. Yeah, looking looking to protect yourself. Um, keeping things close. Maybe not opening up to someone here. What about this Knight of Wands? We have the coffin. The ending. You might have ended something with the Knight of Wands. But then that's, if that's the case, this Knight of Wands is coming back with a message here. That, um... They still have love for you and they can come back with a message. Because they might be going through some kind of change, some kind of transition here. So let's see about this um, page of wands. Yeah, but you know what? The message is confusing. Because here we have the Lambrent. So the, with the Lambrent, it's like it goes one way and then it goes off to another way. So this person is confusing you with their message. You're getting like mis mixed messages, I think, from this person. Or, you know, this person doesn't speak directly. So when they speak, it's in riddles or it's confusing or they deliberately don't tell you exactly how they feel. Okay, what about this Queen of Swords? Ooh. Okay, and here comes a male here. A, a masculine energy. Very seductive. Huh. Okay, so you know what? 
you're going to have a couple people. This person's trying to return after you let them go here because the coffin's over, done, finish. They're coming back confusing you. And then as they're trying to enter back in, Ing pops in this one. And this could be, you could be meeting this person through um, either this is like a college, this could be. Um, corporation, an uh, institution, um, an organization, higher education, or it could be um, the government. You're meeting this person through some kind of um, large, like they might work in a large building or there's something to do with, something large here. It's like it's not a small um this person either works for the government or works for um, an institution, a corporation, uh, something like that. And they're coming in. And this this can be very appealing to you. But they're going to catch you off guard. Because this Queen of Swords is totally off guard when the person comes in. You're not going to be ready for it. So it's going to be a surprise. Okay, let's see what the words are. What are the words here? Let's see. What do we have for this Page of Swords? It feels like you're cutting a couple people out. This person and this person. Let's see. We have honest after the tower. Whoa. Okay. I don't buy it. <laughs> I really don't. I'm putting down these down and figuring this person caused too much trouble. And they might be trying to come in saying they're going to be honest after this tower. After this, everything falls down on them. After you give them boot. Every Scorpio energy. But I really, I'm not buying it. Because after that, your life starts turning around and things start working better. You do have a good love coming in here, too. And um, this looks like whatever this connection is here, it looks really good. And this person might be, you might be saying this person comes around. Maybe you date this person a little bit and it's like, ah, wishy-washy. But then when they come with this information, they, yeah, they love you. Yeah, a big open heart. But they're so confusing. And this looks like, I don't know, I wouldn't trust this. But now this person comes in. So I think in the end, you might have two different people that are looking for something serious. This one might be very, very good looking, <laughs> very tempting. But this other love here feels more long term. Now we also have the Six of Swords here. Now with this Six of Swords, this is someone being dragged away, being pulled away. And when I look at this, I see... This person being dragged away from gambling, drinking, um, playing games. We have like, I don't know, the Nintendo or the one of these um, game um, controllers. So they're getting pulled away. It's like the authorities are pulling away or someone's pulling away. So this is someone moving away from something or trying to get over something, trying to heal from something here. And maybe that could be too with this. Maybe this person is actually in... Like going to a hospital or in, to going someplace to heal. This connection here. And a lot of times the Six of Swords is moving on. You know, moving away from something, going on to something else. Could be physically moving, moving your house, moving moving where you work. But in this deck, it's more like being pulled away or from something that you shouldn't be doing. Like overindulging in something here. So this is some kind of addiction that someone's overindulging. And we did have the devil here. So this could also be represent of some energy here where, you know, that's why you had to look at things closer. Because maybe someone was had some kind of addiction that you weren't really aware of. And now it's coming to light. Now, take if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. Let's see about this Knight of Wands here. What's going on with the Knight of Wands? We have Instigate, very soon, Lover. Okay, so this person's very soon wants to come back in and, or they instigate something. And maybe that's why you give them the boot because they start something you just really don't like. You don't like what they do or you don't like what they say or something here. Now, what about this Page of Wands? We have the end, Lust. Healing. Okay, so the end of lusty uh, of this person here, and you're healing, and then it comes in this guy. But let's see what the Queen of Swords have. But I don't do these people, I just do the court cards. Let's see. What's going on with you and this thing? Insult? 
thinking money. Okay. So you might be insulted thinking this person's after money, maybe. I mean, they are very Don Juan. So it could be a Don Juan, Don Wanda. And you're like, well, you know, I'm not into no gigolos or whatever. <laughs> okay, let's get a um, clarifier for the money. Ooh, for a rainy day. Money for a rainy day. Almost feels like that maybe this person does something on, on the side for a rainy day. Or you might have money put aside for a rainy day. But someone's insulted by something here. So if that makes sense to you. You know, take it. If not, leave it. Because, you know, it is a general reading. So let's see what signs we have now. But it looks like there is a good love coming in here. You're going to get rid of whatever is not meant for you. What is, you're going to be awoken to energies that are really not good for you and you're going to see things clearer here uh, we did have the clouds that came up maybe things were cloudy before but now people are going to show the hands especially we're going into mercury retrograde the 29th so we are already entering now as i'm doing this reading you get the pre so things are going to be coming out in the open things are going to be exposed so with all that you're going to have someone that really is a good commitment here and then you're going to have someone that might be a little bit of a temptation and um, so it might be a little fling or a little, um, well, I don't know, maybe they might fluff your feathers a little bit <laughs> and then that might be it because it's not, it doesn't feel long lasting to me. Okay, let's see what signs we have here. Aquarius, I should probably move this guy and put the, the letters on top, Aquarius. Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Cancer, and Sagittarius. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Cancer, and Sagittarius. Now, for your letters. What letters? Um, are we going to get for initials, first name, last name, and if you get both someone's first and last name, they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better, past, present, future, also your own. We have S, A, Q, P, K, D, A, R, M K E. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are S A Q P K D A R M K E. Now for the names. Let's see what names want to come out. What are the names? We have Letty, L-E-T-T-Y, Luke, Mariana, M-A-R-I-A-N-A, -A -A. and we have Kelvin, K-E-L-V-I-N, Don, Audrey, Maureen, Jessica, Pamela, Sarah, Enzo, and Joey. We have 12. Okay, guys, so those are the names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Go always check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Now, also, if it... um. If it does resonate, you can still check out your other place and put a bigger picture together. Now, here's a little thing. I like to try to help you guys um, that want to develop their intuition, that are working on it, that aren't already good at it, or, you know, don't really feel that strong. Um, do a little test. As they ask you, um, see which one really stands out. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And then just take that one and go with it and listen to that sign. Because it might 
be resonating with you more at this time because your intuition is always talking to you, but we don't always listen to it. So if even with something like anything, you can really develop your intuition by just um, testing. Like say, okay, um, what is the next color car you're going to see drive by? And you might say green. You know, and the next car you see is green. That is telling you you're tapping into your intuition. So to do little things here and there, it's just kind of fun. And it actually, it's an easy way to get more in touch with your guides and to be uh, more aware of what they're trying to tell you so that when they do give you advice or try to warn you about certain things, you'll you'll realize what that means and, and how to actually um, decipher it or how to actually see the signs that, are, that they're giving to you all the time all day long you're always getting signs but we just don't pay attention to them so if you develop your um esp your intuition then you'll be more aware of things and you'll know and it'll, they'll get stronger and and easier and better i can't even tell you how many times i had things that happen especially when it's really important when my guys actually scream at me and I said, oh, this is important. All right, guys. Well, I love you so much. And I appreciate you. And um, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.